BK Trainer, it's good to see you. With an intuitive approach, do you find yourself doing full body training rather than split training? Oh, such a good question. It's kind of a mix because when one of the ways that you work with intuitive approaches is you especially look at your time and your energy level. Those are the two biggest things you look at. So for me, I'm always in different gyms. Maybe I'll have a you know, 20 minutes between clients or something. And I'm like, okay, I've got 20 minutes or like, I'm really tired. Like today I'm really tired because I was out really late last night. So my energy level is naturally just lower. Like I just don't have the juice in the tank that I normally would because life happened, right? So I'm looking at limited time and limited energy. So does it make more sense to pour a good amount of effort into a small area of the body? Like let's say legs, or do I want to do more of the body? Now, what ends up happening for me a lot of the times is I will say I like to do either upper or lower body training for the day. And it's a couple of different exercises that I focus on. But if energy is good and time is good and stuff, I'm like, yeah, hell, I'll hit legs too. Or I'll hit the, the pull-up bar or something. I can add to it if I want. It's not something that you have to have set in stone when you first start training of this is exactly what I'm going to do today. And then later on, you say, well, I've got more time and energy. I'd love to do more, but this is what I have planned. No, you adjust and you adapt as you go along. If you want to do more, by all means, do more. But on the other hand, you give yourself permission of saying, okay, I'm going to do like a five by five workout or something. And then after three sets, you're already gassed out. And you say, okay, I'm going to bail after three sets here because I'm all, I'm, this is clearly not working for me. I'm not having a lot brought to the table in this workout. So then you can change and adapt there. So it's a mix. It really is a mix between those two things. The bottom line is intuitive training is simply about doing what you can with what you have. My grandfather always gave me those words of advice. He's always saying, do what you can with what you have. So if you have more time and more energy and more motivation, you do more. If you have less time and less energy and less motivation and less equipment or whatever, then you use with whatever you've got. You don't just say, well, I can't get a full workout in if you know, in your mind, you're thinking that's going to be an hour or something and saying, well, there's no point in doing anything. Of course there is. There's no such thing as an ineffective workout. There's no such thing as an ineffective set or rep. I don't care if you just get a couple sets of quick push-ups and pull-ups. It's still creating a training stimulus. It's still doing something to your body. So if you don't have much, you just simply don't do very much, but you can still get the job done because you know what that training objective is. And when it comes to building muscle, the objective is simple, which is to thoroughly work a muscle group, to work it to the point where we have a good amount of intensity and volume so that we are creating a high degree of fatigue in the muscle. So this is not training so light that you can just do set, 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 where you just keep going and going and going and going and going. The objective with a bit more of a hypertrophy stimulus is you want to have a, a bit of volume, but you do want to basically, quote, cook the muscle, as we were talking about in the last episode. We want to bring the muscle to a high degree of fatigue where we're working really hard and then there's a point where the muscles are like, I just don't have a whole lot left in the tank. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to go to failure. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're always pushing to your max or anything. It just simply means that you're getting the muscle to a high degree of fatigue and hopefully creating some sort of progression along the way. So you're lifting more weight or you're doing more repetitions in a set. So if you're doing like pull-ups, for example, you could say, all right, I was able to do more pull-ups with my chest to the bar, or I was able to get more pull-ups in general, or I've used a more progressive technique, or I'm, I'm getting my lats to engage more, something a little bit better. We can't just rely on smoking the muscle until we're peeling ourselves off the floor with a set of push-ups, We do want to make sure that we're trying to train the muscles to perform at a higher level over time. Because again, it, there's no promise of success just because you work your ass off. You know, hard work does not always pay off. In fact, it very often does not. That's why we want to make sure we're going after a good training stimulus. Because if you don't know what that stimulus is, there's a very good chance you're going to work yourself very hard but it's up to luck as to whether or not it's actually creating the stimulus that you want.